Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to our week 3 LBA game against Matt, other known as, and I'm gonna butcher this, Quebec City Betics. And he had a pretty nasty team, and of course my team previous linked down below, of course, because I have uploaded that. <laughs> Whatever. And yeah, I was really surprised about this team. Obviously, he didn't bring either Fortress or Bishop, who were great mons against me. He brings Jaros, though, and Conkelder, Tavregers, Raikou, Mew, and Gliscor. So I know his only rocker is the Gliscor, and uh, he's definitely one rocks this game, obviously, for me, having a Charizard and all. I myself used the team I was predicting and um, or said in the <laughs> video and really nothing to it. I have a straightforward idea what I want to create. I know it's going to leave with Gliscor and I'm going to hope that is a Black Sludge set. That's the only idea I have here uh, or a Toxic Orb set with of course Toxic Heals. I'm going to leave with Tangrowth and mostly because I really don't want him to heal up. I, I, there is no way I can avoid the chance of him setting up rocks. And to be frank here, I think it's the best play to pretty much get rid of Kafergus, then pretty much sweep with Charizard X, because he has nothing on his team that take it on really well. And after one Dragon Dance, I should be able to do it kill his Mega Gyarados. So yeah, basically I have a pretty clear idea of what I want to create, how I want to create it, and all I really need is to... Once this glitch score is gone, I can't set up rocks again to pretty much wrap things up. So anyway, wait! All this, my guys, let's go! So alright, I pretty much told you the main plan, and obviously, he does bring the glitch score here, and that's okay. Um, I'm going to go for a knockoff, I mean, that's my best play to go against him, and uh, I know he's gonna get up rocks, it is where it is. And um, I'm gonna get a bit surprised, because when I go for knockoff, we will find out that this is Yasha Berry. So, yeah, that means that Tyranitar actually will kill him with an Ice Beam. Of course, if he stays into that. So, he's gonna bring his Shack Diesel. I was set at red. And uh, I'm gonna go for Leaf Storm. Which will do a nifty amount of damage. But it's most likely a Soul Vested. So, I know if I go for a knockoff and then. Uh, sorry. I go for a knockoff and then obviously go for a Leaf Storm again. That I will actually KO the Confergus. And there's really nothing he can do against me. And we're going to go for, of course, a knockoff, and there's a Salt Vest, so that's just confirming it. Now, he'll go for an Ice Punch, which will do a good amount of damage. Though, that's not the issue. The issue is that I get a Freeze, but I fought out first turn, luckily, but I missed the Leaf Storm. So that series of plays was like, yeah, it's going to be one of those, those games, isn't it? So I'm going to switch out to Keldeo, because this time I really can't take another Ice Punch. Hoping it goes for another Ice Punch, of course, knock off Drain Punch. And it does. That's great. But he's gonna get another freeze on me, and I can't believe it. I really, really can't believe it. Luckily, we do have Skull here, so it doesn't really matter. And I think he stayed in by mistake, actually, due to that. Not probably forgetting about that, or didn't feel he had a good switching for it. Anyway, we're gonna get that out of the way, and Raikou is gonna come in, being shiny, which means that most likely doesn't have hidden power eyes and has up for, of course, Aura Sphere instead, and be a rash, which means a thunderous will out speed. Though, you know. That's just a guess. So I'm gonna bring Tangrowth here yet again, basically just uh, see how much damage his potential uh, Thunderbolt will do. And this will provide us the information of not being either life or more specs. We do take that really well. And I stayed in there, in that area, thinking that he only has Hidden Power Rock if he has a Rashid. This is super effective, which means it doesn't have Aura Swear, which means that Tyranitar in. I'm, I really don't mind Tangrowth going down. It definitely was a mod that I could probably sack, but I should definitely have, have survived that hit, so it's kind of, you know, kind of frustrating, not gonna lie. So anyway, I'm gonna bring Rex here, and I'm gonna force him out. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake, even if I know he has a Gliscor, because I know I can deal with Gliscor one-on-one. Um, an Earthquake will do roughly... Um, sorry, should do roughly one-fourth, basically, 25%. But he gets another crit. Uh... This means I can't take a Waterfall anymore from uh, the Jardos. I do have Thunder Wave on this instead of Stealth Rocks. Thunder Wave is exclusively for Jardos. Now the max damage on a Waterfall is definitely, I think it was around 130. So we're now in an area where a Waterfall takes us out. I will decide to stay in hope when he over predicts and goes for Dragon Dance. He doesn't do that, it goes for safe play and I can't take this Waterfall even if I wanted to. Sadly it isn't that area where it should take me out. Had a very low chance of surviving that, so I'm not even. I'm, I'm not even. I, I'm, I'm gonna show the calcs obviously on the screen. 
but yeah, I, I basically I just sacked him there. So I'm gonna go for Celsius, and I'm gonna go for Sacred Sword because I know he doesn't want to risk sending here. I do wall him pretty darn good uh, if he doesn't pack pound. So he's gonna go to his death mail, and I go for a Sacred Sword here, and um, I'm not gonna lie, it does a lot of damage, like a lot of damage, like boom, boom. And the thing is here, I still am in that area where I can take a potential Thunderbolt. Since we all are confirmed it was a Soul Fest, I do believe it's a roll, but I have a big chance of actually taking it. So he's gonna switch out, and I did decide to go for a Skull here, because I was really hoping to survive that, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> that Thunderbolt. But he actually switches out, or actually I was thinking he was gonna go for a Volt Switch, that was a safer play. Uh, but he actually switches out, thinking I'm Scarfed, and we get to burn on Confagrigus, which is okay. That means he's gonna sack it. That also means that I can set up a rapid spin on any mon on his team because he has no mon that can Oko my uh, Tentacruel. So I, of course, have to take rock damage. He's gonna bring back Dunmere, and like I said, there is a chance I can leave the Thunderbolt while not a big one. And um, he's not gonna go for Volt Switch this time. I decide to sack up Keldeo because Tentacruel can just come in freely, and uh, basically I win with Charizard X now. There is no way he can stop me. This is GG from the get-go because I can just set up a Dragon Dance against Raikou without risking the damage and like you see here he can do a max around 80% on me so I shouldn't really have to worry if you don't crit me! Fuck! That was not supposed to happen and what makes that even worse is that I don't know how to play after that. I bring in Aeroclass here, my Thunders. Uh, I basically do that to kind of recover I, I really don't know why I did that. I knew this mom was a soul vest at the time being. And um, yeah, that just confirms it. And obviously here I'm gonna lose funders. It doesn't matter. I was just frustrated here. I like I blacked out. I was like, freaking really? I had a game in the bag. I had the game. It was mine at that point. And no crit. I basically basically was so mad at this point. But, you know, I calmed down. I bring Undyne here, knowing he has to switch out. If it doesn't switch out, then I can set up a Dragon Dance in his face. I'm gonna go for Roost here, because I need to get the recovery. Uh, and basically here, I have a 50-50 chance of uh, winning. I st it's still a good chance, like I did the Calyx before, uh, you know, when I <laughs> when I calmed down. And uh, there is no way a plus one Waterfall will take us out. It actually is at the Waterfall, if he's adamant, still does at best around 40%. So he gets intimidation off, it's fine, you know, it is where it is. I didn't really want it to be a situation where I need to Dragon Dance up to be a guarantee at 2 KO. But that's the point we are in. So I'm gonna go for uh, Dragon's Law right here, and basically Scout goes for, of course, the, um, the Dragon Dance and whatnot. Because like I said, I can live a plus one, it's fine. And the regular Dragon's Law does do an okay amount of damage, at, at least it's roughly one third. So I know that, you know, we are doing the right damage, we are doing the right damage here, I I'm fine. So he's gonna go for his Dragon Dance, that's okay, like I said, I can live the hit and go for Dragon Dance myself, and I should be pretty close of actually KOing him anyway, like I said, it's a 50 shift chance basically. Uh, so we're gonna go for Dragon Dance, and of course this is the moment you all been waiting for, CAN Charizard X PREVAIL? We have a 62% chance of of course KOing the Gyarados at this point, so I felt, you know, it's gonna make it to break it, and of course Undyne will do the hit, and he lives on 1 HP! Freaking game! That's, yeah... Ugh, that's the game! I'm really, 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 really are frustrated about this outcome, I really am. I didn't lose to a bad team though, like, I'm glad the team I faced, I thought it was well constructed, but that was just awful. So yeah, I, I really have to leave some thoughts, don't I? Uh, uh. <laughs> no, honestly, I think Matt, like I said there, he had the right team against me. I think he did a lot of good plays there, but it came down to, like, I'm sorry, I have to kind of blame it on the hacks. I, I, I really don't want to go that route, but it's very obvious that it kind of did matter in that extent. Uh, I mean, first of all, of course, the situation with Tyranitar. Had I not been about that earthquake, I would have been able to T-wave the Gyarados and, uh, yeah, pretty much wrap the game from there. 
and you know but that was okay like stuff like that do happen and like I said it was a roll I still had a chance of living the waterfall hit so obviously not a big one and of course the kill you situation he had a big chance at the first matchup of uh, actually killing me he didn't go for it and I think the second matchup he had a pretty much a straight Oko on me and like I said they're tentacruel I just was just going to rapid spin like I could survive the hit from Th Thunderbolt and rapid spin and from there go to my Charizard X go for a Dragon Dance, he would switch out to Gyarados, which would have been fine, and I would go for Dragon Claw, which would have been a guaranteed to hit KO, because it would have been a neutral attack, so... <sighs> I knew that was the situation. Yes, he could have switched out back and forth, but he was still forced to go for Dragon Dance to be faster than my Charizard X in the first place, and I would not have lost the Thunders like that. Now, obviously, me playing like Thunders, like, just giving it up, I don't know what went through my head. I was probably just pissy. Uh, like I said, I was extremely shocked and frustrated over that tentacle crit because it mattered so much because I was really sure we was going to wrap up the game like that. If I knew a crit was coming, I wouldn't have sacked Keldew in the first place, I would probably sack Thunderous to be honest. So yeah, I think my opponent got... he got lucky there and uh, like I said, he just, play, he, he just played a good game. I'm not taking that away from him, I'm actually playing a bit worse than I usually do. But I knew I had a game, and that ha having me so frustrated. Um, and I think my opponent kind of knows that too. But you know what? You know we still <clears throat> we still have nine more games, and uh, stuff like this will happen. It's a part of the game. Really can't. I can't blame my opponent for it. I really can't. But like I said, I think he has the right team for me. And in the end, it and ends up being a very good team to have against my team. And uh, yeah. You know, it was a fun game all in all, I really hated that last part, but outside of that, that was really nice. So, anyway guys, I want to thank you for, of course, watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.